You can't really grasp what this job is gonna be like until you're doing it. My senior year, I decided to go interview with the Admiral and uh, vie for one of the, the coveted spots of being a, a nuclear officer. There's really nothing like being on the bridge, you know, driving the submarine. That's not something I'm going to be able to get anywhere else, I know that. Trainers in motion, gentlemen. A nuclear reactor is a complicated mechanism, but at the same time you have so much training that it really becomes kind of second nature. In order for us to steam hundreds of millions of miles safely on nuclear power, uh, we have to have a very strict training regimen for all of the operators who are up in the nuclear power plant. Submarines truly are on their own. If there's a fire, you can't call 911. When you stand watch, you're monitoring the people that are in charge of the propellers and operating the actual nuclear reactor. Without these reactors creating this heat, we're a buoy. We're a buoy in the middle of the ocean. We have the ability to safely operate these plants and not only keep the people you know, on the boat and our crew safe, but also keep, in essence, the rest of the world safe. One of the coolest parts about it is the fact that what we do actually benefits the national security of the United States. I am you know, doing things on deployment that I know are protecting our national interests back at home. It's tough work, but at the end of the day, when you look back and see what you accomplished, it's, it gives you a really good feeling. This is the first thing I've ever done that I can honestly say that I don't think everybody could do it. At first you feel lost, you know, at first you're like, ah, there's so much knowledge that we're getting. But as you start to understand the theory and then understand how to use the theory, you definitely feel more confident and you definitely feel like I can pretty much do anything. Our Navy officers all have satisfy the, the values of honor, courage, and commitment. That's just by being in a Navy uniform. And then what we hope to do is to satisfy their intellectual curiosity that they gain from, from college, and looking into the Navy and saying, hey, I want to do that. I want to, I want to do something different. Um, I want to do something bigger than myself. America needs assets that can go dangerous places uh, and do dangerous things. I'm a 26-year-old guy in charge of making sure this warship operates and uh, nothing goes wrong with it. And I think that's just uh, it's a really awesome responsibility and it's also incredibly fun.